We're all here to support State Senator Darren Soto as the next congressman for Congressional District 9. I must say, as a leader in the Latina and LGBT community, I stand here proudly because I think that our state senator, Darren Soto, is the most qualified leader, experienced leader, who has been re representing our community for more than a decade, first as a state uh, representative and now as a state senator. He knows what our community stands for. He's been there on all our issues. He knows what it is to be a person who supports all issues, especially on equality. He is the person who supports LGBT issues, Latino issues, women issues, every issue that, re that represents every American here. So I want to thank you for being here with us today, today and sharing this uh, very important moment. At this time, without further ado, I would like to ask State Senator Darren Soto, our next congressman for the district of nine, U.S. House nine. Thank you. Thank you, Virginia. It's an honor to be here today, but you all know I'm no stranger to Buena Ventura Lakes, or BVL as we affectionately call it. I've had countless town hall meetings here. I started my political career walking door to door and began by living just a few blocks from here, just north of the border in Orange County. And we have done our best, both locally and on the state level, to improve the lives of our constituents. Let me first talk about, because all politics is local, about some of the things we've done here in, points in, uh, in BVL. One, they'll be getting a train station pretty soon. Two, we finally got Osceola Parkway widened here, which is a big deal because I know you all know the traffic here. And three, we brought back more than $4 million for more public schools here to be constructed. And lastly, we brought back a new high-tech manufacturing center to, that is under construction right here because we need more high-paying jobs for the region. And that comes to the biggest first issue that we need to talk about, which is our community needs more high-paying jobs. We know that we're 50th out of 50 in the median salary. And that's going to require not only bringing down economic development dollars through universities to create a high-tech sensors manufacturing sector, to help out with Medical City in Lake Nona, to help out with commercial space flight and with simulation and computer programming and so many other of these jobs in the future. But we're going to also need the workforce to make that happen, which is why not only do we have a wonderful Valencia, Osceola County East Campus, but we now have under construction one in Point Siena. Why is it important? Because number one, our brothers and sisters in Point Siena had to drive an hour to two hours each way to get to their access to education. And two, it'll reduce crowding here in East Osceola County by making sure that we have more students going to both universities. Having an access to education is critical to getting more higher paying jobs in the region. In addition, healthcare is so important to all families. That's why we fought to make sure we had the now largest federal exchange in the nation right here in Florida. Over nearly two million people are now in this federal exchange thanks to our president, Barack Obama, and our good friend here, Congressman Javier Becerra, who I will introduce you. Yeah. This has changed the face of Florida, but we still need to expand Medicaid, and this is something that we'll continue to fight for on the federal level. In addition, there is a lot of issues with our economy in Puerto Rico. We know that. We know that we've uh, fought to try to consolidate debts, but there are so many other things that, are need to be, that need to be happening going forward. First, I hope to sit on natural resources if I'm um, privileged to be elected to our uh, district here in District 9 to make sure every day that that commission is making the right decisions for both what's right for the people of the island and the people here in Central Florida. We know our economies are connected. We know our cultures are connected. We know that the prosperity on the island will also equal prosperity here and vice versa. 
And so we need to make sure that they never lower the minimum wage down there. We need to make sure that they're never going to reduce the pensions that so many of our seniors have relied upon. And we need to make sure that the federal government is helping out with both tax credits and economic development projects to increase the economy on the island because in a per prosperous Puerto Rico means a prosperous Central Florida. Next, we have so many issues that we need to advance forward with Social Security. First, we need to make sure that we have cost of living increases, and that will require us going from the current formula under CPIW to CPIE. I won't get it complicated, I'll just simply say that the current consumer price index does not account for the true expenses of our seniors. Our seniors have paid into the system all their lives, and it's time that we pay them back. Hispanic unity. You know, Javier and I just came from Poe County, where we sat around a table with so many of our wonderful dreamers, and so many families, many of whom are trying to pursue the American dream like so many of us here in BVL. Yet, their families are being broken up because the Supreme Court struck down DAPA, and so many of them are still dealing with immigration issues. Yet these are our fellow Hispanics, these are our fellow Americans that we're allowing families to be broken up for. But the, the scene was upbeat, the discussion was hopeful. It was that if we all work together, that we can accomplish comprehensive immigration reform. That we can make sure to reaffirm DACA and DAPA so that our dreamers have a chance of continuing the American dream, that we don't break up families. Yo voy a continuar porque este es nuestro idioma. Este es un momento histórico por nuestra comunidad. Yo estoy tratando para ser el primer uh, hispano uh, en Congreso de Florida, uh, de Centro Florida. Yo estoy tratando para ser el primer um, poder, um, persona de herencia puertorriqueño para ser en el Congreso de Florida. Y nosotros estamos aquí unidos para a su lugar, este va a ocurrir y nosotros vamos a tener victoria este 30 de agosto. Porque este es un momento. Para a su lugar, nosotros tenemos más acceso de servicios de salud. Para a su lugar, nosotros tenemos más acceso del de sueño americano, para educación, para más acceso de colegios y para traer más trabajos con salarios altos a nuestra uh, área aquí en Florida Central y está finalmente tiempo, nosotros tenemos una reforma migratoria para que todas nuestras familias hispanas puedan disfrutar el, el sueño americano